Unloved Divinities Aegir, as we have seen, ruled the sea with the help of the treacherous Ran. Both of these divinities were considered cruel by the northern nations, who had much to suffer from the sea, which, surrounding them on all sides, ran far into the heart of their countries through the numerous fjords, and often swallowed the ships of their Vikings with all their warrior crews. Other Divinities of the Sea Besides these principal divinities of the sea, the northern nations believed in mermen and mermaids, and many stories are related of mermaids who divested themselves for a brief while of swan plumage or of seal garments, which they left upon the beach to be found by mortals, who were thus able to compel the fair maidens to remain on land. She came through the waves when the fair moon shone, drift o'er the wave and foam of the sea. She came where I walked on the sands alone, with a heart as light as a heart may be, by L.E.R. There were also malignant marine monsters known as Nikors, from whose name has been derived from the proverbial Old Nick. Many of the lesser water divinities had fish tails. The females bore the name of Undines, and the males of Storm Carls, Nixies, Nex, or Neckar. Where in the Mariches boometh the bittern, Nicker the soulless sits with his gittern, sits unconsolable, friendless, and foeless, wailing his destiny, Nicker the soulless from Brother Fabian's manuscript. In the Middle Ages, these water spirits were believed sometimes to leave their native streams, to appear at village dances, where they were recognized by the wet hem of their garments. They often sat beside the flowing brook or river, playing on harp or singing alluring songs, while combing out their long golden or green hair. The neck here is harp in the glass castle plays, and the mermaidens comb out their green hair always, and bleach here their shining white clothes. Stagnelius, Kitely's Translation The Nixies, Undines, and Stormcarls were particularly gentle and lovable beings, and were very anxious to obtain repeated assurances of their ultimate salvation. Many stories are told of priests or children meeting them playing by a stream and taunting them with future damnation, which threat never failed to turn the joyful music into pitiful wails. Often, priests or children discovering their mistake and touched by the agony of their victims would hasten back to the stream and assure the green-toothed water sprites of future redemption, which they invariably resumed their happy strains. Know you the Nixies gay and fair, their eyes are black and green their hair, they lurk in sedgy shores. By Matheson. So those were the unloved divinities and other divinities of the sea, the fourth sections of chapter 20 of Myths of the Norsemen by Helen A. Gerbert Aegir. I will be working my way through this book section by section, and if there are any other public domain books that you would like for me to read, please leave a comment below. Did you enjoy this video? Then subscribe for more, and be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. Thank you for listening, and have a lovely evening.